Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock ring. Letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really Hi everyone, welcome back to the Vinyl Professor channel. I have my trusty knife at the ready uh, because I have a big box here. This box came in the mail yesterday. Open this side up. I'm under very precise instructions to do just that. Let me just talk to you as I'm doing this. Um, Sean Zlock and Jeff Party from the VC. Two great guys, good friends of mine, thanks to the wonders of the internet and the wonders of the VC generally. Sean, I haven't actually been in touch with him all that long. He's quite new to the VC. Uh, Jeff has been around for about a year or so. Um, Sean mentioned he wanted to send me something, um, so he asked me for my address. And then Jeff uh, got in touch completely out of the blue as well, asked me did I want him to send me anything. He was going through his record boxes, finding spares of things and so on. So, uh, you know, I mean, what an amazing offer that was. I did mention at least one record to him that I'd seen him show in a previous video, but you know you're being sport rotten when people get in touch with you and say, you know, do you want me to send you something? So guys, I mean, clearly as this video goes on, I'm gonna be saying thank you a lot. Uh, but I will say a big thank you now because this is just crazy, you know, really crazy. I, I will be getting you back, of course, um, but yeah, such an honour and a thrill. Yeah, Sean was very insistent that I open this in a particular way, uh, so I'm doing that right now. Now the first thing I see as I open the box is a note from Sean. I won't read that until I've gone a bit further in. Okay, so we have a thing here saying open this side up. Let me show you. Open this side up. And going through, you can see lots of different packages. This is just completely overwhelming. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the, so the first package, again, contains a note. I'm going to just remove that. Ah, right, right. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Okay. The first package looks like it's from Jeff. This is fantastic. I've never owned an American Beatles album until now. Look at that. That is awesome. That is fantastic. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the one that I was cheeky enough to ask Jeff to send me. He said he'd mentioned in the video that he'd got four copies of it already, or three copies of it. He asked me if I wanted anything in particular, so I said, well, I wouldn't mind that copy of Eden Fleece because um, it's a very costly album to buy. And, um, yeah, now I have it. Fantastic. Ah, right. Excellent. Yeah. Um, now, maybe Jeff remembered me saying this, but even though I really like Nick Lowe, I've never owned one of his records. So that's Labour of Lust. 
Yeah, Nick Lowe, British British songwriter from back in the day, you know, back in the 1970s. He was always on top of the pops when I was growing up. Uh, he was in Rock Pile, Dave Edmonds. I've always loved his work, just never kind of owned any. So uh, that's a brilliant addition to my collection as well. Jeff, thanks ever so much. That is awesome. Nick Lowe, Beaded Fleece, which I've been after for absolutely ages. And my first genuine American Beatles record. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Open this side up. Another. <laughs> right, okay. Fantastic. Yeah, I've mentioned uh, this video might not be up yet, actually. I was going to put it up first. It might not have gone up first, but there's a story attached to... Uh, <laughs> I, um, I saw a copy of Deja Vu in the window of a charity shop and I failed to grab it. I went into the shop. I said to myself, I'll go back and get that in a minute. I went into the shop and I was only in there for between five and ten minutes and it had gone. And um, I think I'd mentioned to that already on Facebook. I actually wrote a little poem about it. And um, so Sean has really kindly sent me a copy of that. I think I didn't know he was going to send me this one. It's amazing how they've all got little notes in the front of each one. It's just incredible. Right, another Nick Lowe album. Another Nick Lowe album. This one is Jesus of Cool. Unbelievable. Now, this, this is a band that I keep hearing people talking about. I've never heard them, never owned a record by them. This is Kla 2, and the album is called, is it just called Kla 2? In the 70s, people actually thought this group was the Beatles under a pseudonym. People in the 70s were dumb. Still a great album though. Yes, that was the fact I think I knew about them. People thought it was the Beatles. I've never heard them. What a great cover. Kla 2. What a great name. Okay, and um, yeah. Sure mentioned he was going to send me this. Prince. Now, which album is this from 1980? Is this his... The recent reissue of Prince's Dirty Mind. Yes, you had mentioned in the video that you weren't as familiar with his earlier stuff. So this is one of my favourites. Prince. John Downing sent me the, s the second Prince album. Now I have this one too. I'm just overwhelmed. As a huge Squeeze fan, I know that you will appreciate this. It's a cool novelty from 1980. Have you ever seen... A five inch vinyl single before. I haven't, but now I have. This is their single, If I Didn't Love You, which actually wasn't a single in the UK, it was a single in, um, in the States. <laughs> oh boy. That's made my day. Look at that. <laughs> it's just fantastic. That is just amazing. Sean, thanks ever so much. That has made my day. A five inch record. <laughs> Two great songs as well. Squeeze. Some genuine love confetti that fell on my head during the show on 19th of October 17. <laughs> so called Cirque du Soleil did a Beatles circus show. My word. Sure, this is unbelievable. This is the programme from the Beatles Love Cirque du Soleil show. God, man, you could have you could have sold this on eBay and got a fortune for it, probably. Wow, I I knew a couple of people who'd been to see this, and they and they said it was just the most incredible show. Um, I'd love to have seen it myself. 
Uh, Vegas. I think Sean works in Vegas, don't you, Sean? I had a friend uh, who went out there and he saw the show and he, he and he was a big um, Beatles fan. He was completely knocked out by it. This is just incredible. Look at that. Just amazing. The blue mini there. Love. I love it. With the bag. Now let's put the confetti back where it belongs. Christmas truly has come early. Sorry, I'm just going to cut in somewhere because I did leave something out. Uh, Sean, Sean also sent me uh, uh, some stickers. Stax Museum of American Soul Music and also another Stax one. Brilliant. And also I thought I would just quickly read out just two of the notes that Sean included. I wouldn't normally read out uh, you know, letters and notes from people on the VC, but these two are actually quite funny. His main note just says, Jeff and I saw your video a few weeks ago where you were discussing how you had run out of storage and needed to downsize. Being the horrible people that we are, we decided to be the opposite of helpful and send you some more crap for your collection. <laughs> and then also, the notes in um, Crosby, Stills and Nash. I like to pick up extra copies of records that I already own and serve as a foster parent until I can find them a good home. I feel that it's my duty to protect these records from a horrible fate of being nailed to someone's wall um, as a decoration or destroyed on a Crosley. I'm doing God's work. Priceless. I... I'm literally speechless. Um, guys, Sean, Jeff, you're naughty, but nice. So many good things. I'm going to have to just go and lie down, I think, and just think about it for a moment. Just, just contemplate your generosity and goodness of spirit. Um, Sean Zlock, Jeff Party. Check them out if you haven't done already. They are the guys. Thanks ever so much. Uh, stay tuned, VC. If I've recovered in the next week, you may see another video from me. Take care. I'm a lucky man.